Welcome back. Today's video is about how to keep your fiddler crabs alive. Fiddler crab. Fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs. Fiddler crab. Fiddler crab. Fiddler crab. Fiddler crabs need an environment to keep them alive and healthy. Notice when they start to get unhealthy, they develop a real bright and flamboyant color. They start getting these oranges and reds that are really, really bright. And they're starting to dry out and kind of die a little bit. Show us closer. Can you see it? Oh, huh. kind of like peach. And it's orange. really red and orange. Right. But when they're healthy, or when you just take them out of the ground, they have these dark, purpley browns and rusty colors, not those big bright colors. When they start getting big and bright, that means they've started to cook a little bit. Think about how when you cook a crab and you put the crab in the pot and when you take it out of the pot, it is bright red and ready to eat. Same thing with the fiddler crabs. Isn't it? And as they sit in the sun or like out in the bait bucket like that, they'll start getting brighter, which is why we put the water on them uh, and put it on a, an, on a tilt so they can to refresh their shells up and moisten them up a little bit. Take a look at where your crabs are living, right? And they're always living in the sand right close to the water's edge and usually up against the mangroves. Well, if this is where they live and we want to keep them alive at home and our buckets are a little cooler or whatever you got, I'm simply going to take some of this sand and then I'm going to get some seawater. Pretty simple, right? Fiddler Crab Chateau. Fiddler crabs, fiddler crabs, fiddler crabs, fiddler crab, fiddler crab, fiddler crab, fiddler crab. 